Welcome to Science Lab with Mrs. Keener. Hi everyone, it's time for Science Lab and this week we have another space activity. In the last Science Lab you made a model of the solar system with the Sun and the planets and it was a scale model. They were spread out to the correct distances. Today we're going to make a model of just the Earth and the Moon. I was originally thinking of including the Sun in this model, but I'll show you why I decided to leave it out. When I was planning this activity, the first thing I did was I looked up the actual distances between the Sun and the Earth, the Sun and the Moon, and the diameters of all those three things. Those are some pretty large numbers, so I thought it would be helpful if we made a scale model using sizes that are sort of more scaled to things that we can actually imagine and see. I rounded off the numbers to make the math a little simpler. And then I decided that everything would be related to the size of the Earth. So I divided all the numbers by 10,000. So I got 100 kilometers for the diameter of the Sun, 10,000 kilometers for the distance from the Sun to the Earth, one kilometer for the Earth, 30 kilometers for the distance between the Earth and the Moon, and around one-fourth of a kilometer for the diameter of the Moon. I decided to change all the units to inches, and for numbers that were large, I changed the inches to feet. So if I wanted to make a model of the Sun and the Moon and the Earth where the Earth was one inch in diameter, that's fine. I can draw something one inch in diameter. But the problem is that the Sun would have to be eight feet in diameter. That's so big, that's bigger than a lot of people's rooms in their houses. So it would have to be outdoors. The real problem is the distance from the Sun to the Earth is so far, it would have to be 800 feet away. That's the distance from the science lab to Kindercomac Road. It's more than two football fields laid end to end. So that's way too big. If we shrank that down, our Earth and our Moon would be too tiny. So I'm just going to leave the Sun out of the model. And you'll just have to remember, the Sun is very large and it's very far away. So our model is going to focus on the Earth and the Moon. So we're going to make an Earth that's one inch in diameter. We're going to have it 30 inches away from our Moon. And our Moon will be a quarter inch in diameter. These are reasonable things that we can deal with. So if we're going to draw some circles for our Earth and our Moon. If you have a tool that helps you to draw circles in a certain diameter, it would be perfect for this. We need to draw our Earth one inch in diameter. So draw a circle one inch in diameter on a piece of scrap paper or a post-it note. If you don't have a tool that helps you draw circles, you can draw it a different way. First, draw a line that's one inch long and put a little mark in the middle of the line and use that line, use that little mark to make another line that's an inch tall so you kind of have a plus shape. And now draw another one inch line in X shape and another one inch line to complete your X. So now you have a bunch of lines that are all one inch long. This will help us to draw our circle. So now connect those lines, kind of round them, make them round as you go around, and that helps you to draw a circle that's one inch in diameter. Let's label it. This is our Earth. You can color it if you want to, but you don't have to. Now it's time to draw our moon. If the Earth was one inch in diameter, the moon would be one fourth inch in diameter. It's one quarter of the size, the diameter. So draw a one quarter inch line
And for the next steps, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it, make it into a plus, make an X, draw a circle. Label it, moon. You can color it if you want. Now we need to measure out something for the distance between the Earth and the moon. You can use a string, a ribbon, a long strip of paper, a thread, a yarn, and it needs to be 30 inches long. If you have three rulers, you can lay them out. My ribbon is a little bit longer than 30 inches and I don't feel like cutting it, so I'm just gonna put a knot in it. To make a simple overhand knot, you make a loop and then the part that's on top goes behind and you pull it up inside the loop that you made. If you don't have three rulers, you can use one ruler and just pinch it off at 12 inches and then move your ruler. There's another 12 inches, pinch it. and another six inches to make our 30 inches. 12 plus 12 plus six. Okay, now we have something 30 inches long, so it's time to make our model. I'm gonna move down to the floor so I can spread out some more. So straighten out your 30 inch long thing Put the earth at one end and the moon at the other. If we shrank everything down but kept the same proportions, this is what our earth and moon would look like. Or if we were very far away and they looked small. If the earth was one inch, the moon would be a quarter inch in diameter and they would be 30 inches apart. So the ratio of the sizes stays the same. That's what makes this a scale model. Now we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna find things around our house that we can use in our model. For example, when I put these two placemats together, they're about the right distance. They're about 30 inches wide. And a raisin is about the right diameter for the moon. And this piece of chocolate is about the right diameter for the Earth. So I made a model of the Earth and Moon using the raisin, the chocolate, and two placemats. My stove is about the right distance apart. If the distance between the Earth and the Moon were the same as my stove, the Earth would be the size of this tomato, and the Moon would be the size of this tiny little leaf of basil. This bookshelf is about the right size too. If this bookshelf was the distance between the earth and the moon, then this eraser would be the size of the earth and this other small eraser would be the size of the moon. So find some things around your house and make at least one model showing me something that's about the right size and about the right distance. This last part is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. When I spread my arms out and measure from one elbow to another, well, it's hard to hold the tape measure that way, but if I measure from my chin to my elbow, that's about 15 inches. That's about half the distance I need for my model. So from elbow to elbow is about 30 inches. Get a pen, not a Sharpie, but something you could wash off with soap and water. If you wanna do this, 
draw a moon on one elbow. It needs to be a circle that's about a quarter inch in diameter. You can estimate it now that you know what size that looks like. And on your other elbow, draw a circle that's about an inch in diameter. By now, you know approximately what size that is. So now, your arms can be a model of the Earth and the Moon, but you have to spread them out to the sides for the distance to be correct. Like I said, this last part is optional. If you don't want to draw on your arms, I understand. All right, everybody, show me the models that you made around your house of the Moon and the Earth. I look forward to seeing your videos in Flipgrid.